Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is The Gaming Guy and today's video is obviously going to be one of the final videos going over the full Winter 18 season. Today's video is the counterpart to the biggest flops. These are the, I guess I would call them the best resale items of the season, but I don't know whether I could say the biggest profit or the best profit from items during the season. Now, like the biggest flops, I went through each week's drop list to see which item and pick out items that had the sort of either low retails or mid range or even high retails to then see what their counterpart for them would be. It took me about an hour and a half to find the items that I would want. I am going to have some mentions at the start but this video should not be as long as the flops video so I'm trying to make them as sort of well done as possible but it's very difficult because I always seem to just keep going on and on about specific items so without further ado let's get straight into this okay so jumping straight into it and kicking off uh, with a jacket that actually when looking through the drop list it wasn't so high on the week that it was released uh, overall I did actually like the look of the whole theme for the whole 1994 uh, New York sort of thing that they released across these uh, waffle thermals and the jackets the sweatpants and everything else I just don't think it was received too well however on the side of resale I'm able to include this as like an honorable mention because the retail as you can see the retail was 198 pounds overall it'd probably be 203 pounds if you ordered it online uh, or that's just the sort of UK figure I know in other places that the shipping is a bit higher but as you can see currently the current sales have been trending at above 300 pounds so with fees obviously taking into account it's about an 80 pound profit looking at the white colorway i would love to put this onto the list but there are a lot of other items that in comparison to their retail have really good resale as well so this could go into the top 10 but i'm just going to give it a mention instead because it definitely deserves one because at this point in time it is going for double its retail and as you can see by the sales they are just going higher and higher there was one for 389 but at the moment it is peaking way above 400 pounds it deserves to be in the top 10 but i don't know if i'm going to fit it in or not but i will just give it an honorable mention at this point in time so let's get into the next item that can have a mention as well now this isn't every single colorway in this piece but it is definitely for this colorway which is the Gore-Tex court jacket in the flower print I also forgot to say that this is reversible uh, it's the puffy jacket you know it's a reversible piece and yeah I sort of regret not picking it up because it didn't fly instantly uh, but obviously as I said in the last video, you win some and you lose some with pieces. So the court jacket, its retail was £353. I'm just going to go with retail and the shipping included. Currently in some sizes it is going above £500, but at the moment it's trending between about £390 and £450. So depending on the size that you have this piece in and colorway will be dependent on whether you get profit but currently in the uh, flower colorway it is at least pulling about 50 to 100 pounds profit okay moving on to the first item that i'm going to include a couple of these pieces or nearly all of these pieces are going to be pretty obvious so we have the comme de garçon uh, split box logo t in the white colorway Obviously, it's going for above £200, so if you just take into account the retail, it's about £150 profit in the white colourway. In the black colourway, it is currently selling for just above that, at about £230 to about £260. So again, nearly £200 profit at the moment in the black colourway. Overall, compared to its retail, crazy resale value. Definitely one of the better profits from an item during this season, uh, but not the best profit, obviously, because there are a lot of other items. But yeah, definitely a good way to kick off the list. And to follow it up, we're going to move straight on to the hoodie, the box logo hoodie or the split box logo hoodie. The retail was £178 and currently the trending sort of price, I guess you could put it as, is nearly £400, however, in small specifically just small mainly it's selling for above 500 pounds compared to its retail obviously for size small that's nearly 300 pounds profit even after fees that's probably still going to be 300 pounds profit in the other sizes you're still going to be looking at between 200 to 250 pounds ish profit which is still just insane so yeah and again we have the black colorway for this these aren't going to count as two items these are just going to count as you know one item because i'm just looking at both of the colorways the black colorway is doing the same trend of between four and five hundred pounds then above five hundred pounds in the small 
size. We're going to have to include another Comme des Garçons item because they're the main items that have had the best profit this season. Now, this is the uh, sweater or shirt sweater they put it as, but the sweater, it had a retail of £168 and currently, as you can see, it's doing basically the same, even better than the hoodies have been. But as you can see, it's going for above £400 again. So it's got the same value, except in some sizes here. Somebody sold one for £621, which is this even higher than this peak there. But it's not including it for some reason, but £621 somebody had a sale of. So at some given points in time, it is going way higher than uh, the hoodies, which again would give it this two to 300, even 400 pounds profit, uh, which is just, again, insane. And it was to be expected, I suppose, because people did like it. At the start, there wasn't really that much hype around it until people started to see the actual pieces and then it just sort of rocketed off. Looking at the other two colorways uh, that this did come out in, they have the same sort of trend. The red colorway, as you can see, is just going between three and four hundred pounds. But again, small will be doing completely different to that. At this point in time, if you want to buy a small, the lowest that somebody has one for is 490 pounds and the highest bid is 470 pounds so it is still reaching that near 500 pound mark i would probably say that the best colorway that came out of this even though this picture does no justice is the tan colorway because it is currently exceeding 500 nearly 600 pounds in every size that is its stable price point and yeah as you can see it is just crazy staying at that somebody nearly paid a thousand pounds here it's not showing but like i'll scroll down there it is somebody nearly paid a thousand pounds for a size small in this moving on we have the reversible logo fleece jacket specifically in the natural colorway the retail was 228 pounds and as you can see it's ranging between four and five hundred pounds but compared to its retail that is a nearly 200 pound profit even some of them reaching into the 200 pound profit they probably dip under that after the fees and everything taken into account but overall it's trending above £400, it's selling for that, people are buying it consistently. So it's a great piece and it's got a lot of potential to keep going up and get a lot of profit. Again, if you wanted to buy the size small, the highest bid at the moment for this piece is £675. And the lowest ask that somebody would want to sell theirs for is 970 This is the orange colourway and its price is currently just about at the £300 mark. The black colourway is actually doing okay as well in the small size as per norm but in general it is still trending at about 400 pounds as well i would still say that personally the natural colorway is the better off colorway but the black colorway isn't too far behind and it actually has some better sales specifically in the size extra large which i haven't seen a lot of uh, in the natural colorway okay next up we have the killer trust t with a retail of 48 pounds as you can see, the current sales are basically all above £180. The average sales price that they have is £160, so it's easily £110 to £150 above its retail. And yeah, there have been some sales that have even exceeded £200 on this piece, so you're going above 100 to 150 even more pounds profit on this piece and obviously if you're in america obviously the currency would be different so the price would probably be different on this piece but i'm still sure that the profits should be around the same amount on the majority of the pieces of either 100 200 300 400 dollars or euros you know i'm sure that the profit will still be the same i've mainly picked the black colorway specifically for this because this was the colorway which it sold best in and is still selling the sort of best in. And that's why it made it onto this list because compared to the retail that it came out for, it's just doing exceedingly well. Okay, next up we have the box logo beanies. Specifically, I'm going to focus on the top two just because they're easier to open and go onto. With a retail of £38, currently the black colorway is selling for above uh, like £130, £140. What the hell are all these sales? With that retail, it has been selling for above 130 and 140 pounds. And actually, all of a sudden, over the last week, I guess we can call it, or last even just three or four days, there have been sales for 160 to nearly 180 pounds. So, yeah, it has definitely gone up a lot more than when I last checked. Uh, I thought it was actually going down, but somehow. There have been some quite high sales recently. So comparing that to the retail 
uh, there is at least a £100 or 100 overall sort of profit is available in whichever currency, obviously. And throughout the year, I think this will just trend and continue to go up. Obviously, with it being the highest sales, there is up to like a £120 or £130 profit. Maybe taking off the fees, that might drop down just to about £100 to £110. But even at that, for a beanie, that is just a crazy amount of profit. Going on to the grey colourway, it's sort of the same but has levelled out currently at the £120 mark. It did have this massive spike where it was going above and nearing £150 but now it's sort of levelled out. Which still leaves between like a £70 to £90 profit uh, available on the piece which again... For a beanie, that's insane. Okay, next up is the North Face Expedition Fleece. The one piece I should not have sold. With a retail of £328 currently, I'm going to have to sign in or refresh quickly. And then it will show a price that isn't an actual price. There we go. So currently the trend for the natural colourway specifically has been between about £650 to £800 uh, mainly in the sizes small and extra large the in-between sizes of large and medium have sort of leveled off at about 650 pounds to about 680 pounds but overall it is 300 pounds above its retail and still climbing and i think it can still just keep climbing i say 300 pounds because that's probably after the fees that will be taken off maybe about 250 to 300 pounds after the fees maybe more than that depending on the size that you have it in but for sure it is definitely one of the pieces that had a lot of profit this season the other two colorways still have profit out of them but it's not as high as the white or natural colorway okay next up the most obvious item from the season being the box logo uh, I'm just going to mention the dark green or forest green colorway. Every single colorway at least has up to two to three hundred pounds profit available. From there, it's up to four, five, six, seven hundred pounds profit, or even more, depending on the size that you have. Maybe not more than seven hundred, but around that area. With a retail of one hundred and fifty-eight pounds, I'm going to have to refresh again so that it signs in. When you go onto these. It's just pretty much insane is all I can say. Currently the dark green or forest green has been trending the same as the North Face Expedition Fleece at between 650 to about 800 pounds depending on the size. Specifically size small will be going for the most in this uh, but some extra larges have been pulling a bit more. Overall though the best sort of trending size has been large which as you can see the recent sale as of today was 705 pounds which compared to its retail that's just, like, I, I don't even know how to, like, phrase that. It's just insane. The highest bid for a size small at the moment is 649 The highest bid for a size medium is 630 The highest bid for an extra large is 659 Where'd that go now? What's just happened? I swear this site is so broken. What's happened to the, the prices? What's just... I'm so confused. Okay. So I go onto it and it gives me these these higher prices, but then I do it again and they're lowered by like £200. I have no idea what's going on on this website. So if you went to sell this piece at the current point in time, say in the size large specifically, the highest bid is £686, which would pay out to be £591. Obviously comparing that to the retail of 158 that would be about 430 maybe £440 profit, but I'd say about 435 or £436 profit, which... Yeah, that's just insane to get 400 plus pounds profit to be able to get four times plus the retail value. Uh, obviously, after fees, it comes down, but still four times plus the retail value. That's just insane. One of the final items is going to be the Supreme Mike Kelly, the R youth <laughs> work jacket in the multicolor people hated this it was near the bottom of the list they did not like it at all with a retail of 288 pounds you know it was just massively disliked however like the cowboy work jacket that was released a couple of years ago it just did the complete opposite of what people were expecting even what i was expecting to be honest i did like it when i was looking at it but I wasn't willing to pay nearly £300 for it. I probably should have because it's one of the better pieces that was more disliked that has come out of the season. Currently, as you can see, the current like sort of sale price for it is above £400, even in some of them into the £500 region. And I'm sure this number is just going to keep climbing. 
trending sales, the lowest that I can see is about £460. And from there, it just goes up and up. Compared to its retail, that is a nearly £200 profit. Uh, specifically in the size small is definitely a £200 profit in the other sizes between about £150 and £200 profit which is just insane for this piece and it definitely like deserves it for a piece that was not shown a lot of love at the start I'm glad that it is selling for the amount that it is selling at this current point in time for the final piece I'm going to be using Supreme Community because it is the Santa Cruz Chameleon bike obviously it is not on stock X the retail was basically £2,500 the only ones that I can find of it are on Grailed uh, this one piece this person wants $14,800 for uh, another one the person wants just over $10,000 for I haven't been able to find any sort of sold ones but if you have seen any then just drop them down below or comment down below what they have sold for as I could not find any and this person actually cut the price from theirs from 11,000 to 9,900 probably to undercut the person who has theirs up for 10,000 so yeah for the profit side if anybody was to sell it even for double its retail you know that's just going to be 2,000 plus pounds or dollars whichever way you sell it profit in the higher ranges, you know, that's still going to be two, three, four, you know, all the way up to six or seven thousand dollars or pounds profit, which is just insane. And if anyone does or has sold theirs for anything near five to ten thousand pounds or dollars, props to them because that's just insane to make that amount of profit on a single item. So that is going to cover the video. If you enjoyed it, like be much appreciated. Other than that, comment down below any other items that you believe have had decent profit this season. I know there were items at the beginning of the season that had a lot of profit, but I just want to include the items that specifically have done really well in comparison to their retail or just in general, they have just been able to pull above five or six hundred pounds, which obviously most of the items were expected being the box logos and the Comme des Garçons and the North Face. Anyway, that is it for today's video. As I said, if you enjoyed, like, be much appreciated. Other than that, subscribe if you would like to. Drop your comments or thoughts down below. Join the Discord link as well if you'd like to. And all my social media and everything else are down below. And I will see you either tomorrow or on Tuesday for another video. Peace.